purpose of extensive research on the HIV virus, scientists have discovered antibodies that are able to kill up to 88% of HIV types. It was discovered that the immune system of two women living with HIV were able to produce antibodies capable of neutralizing and killing a large percentage of the virus. This groundbreaking discovery in the medical field is an indication the country is a few steps closer to discovering an HIV vaccine. Joining us now on the show from our studios in Cape Town is Professor Salim Abdul Karim. Uh, Professor Karim, good morning to you. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Now, thank you for joining us indeed. Briefly explain how do, how do the antibodies work? So one of the challenges we have in making an AIDS vaccine is that the virus has a lot of variability. And what we've discovered in some individuals, they are rare, but they are able once infected to make these antibodies that are very special because they are able to kill the large variety of HIV. And we discovered that there are two women in particular in KwaZulu-Natal uh, that are able to make these antibodies. But one of the important steps is that until now we didn't know how the body was able to make these. And so what we discovered was that there's a particular change on the outer surface of the virus that leads to these women responding in this kind of way that leads to this antibody. So that's the discovery and it's that particular discovery now that we hope will help us make an effective AIDS vaccine. So can these antibodies be biologically made? So at the moment there are monoclonal antibodies that are we think that are similar but at this point, we do not know if we can really make this antibody because we've just discovered it. So the next steps are for us to go into the laboratory and to see if we can mimic the process yeah. that the body followed in new pe people who don't yet have HIV. Okay, let's just reduce this a little bit uh, to, a, to a lower level, not, not about antibodies now. So what, what were the symptoms that the two ladies were showing? And what are they now showing with the, uh, the apparent killing of 88% 80, of, of the virus? So the 88% of the viruses that their antibodies are able to kill, what we did is we take panels of viruses from all over the world. We take HIV from India, HIV from China. We take HIV from South America, North America, Europe, from throughout Africa, and we put them in panels with hundreds of these viruses. We then test their antibodies that's in their blood against all of those viruses. And what we found is that their antibodies are able to kill up to 88% of those viruses. So what we have in these particular women is a very special antibody mm -hmm. that is able to kill such a wide variety. But it has no direct benefit to them because they already have HIV. In, in, in effect, it is their experience that we hope will have help people who don't yet have HIV. Oh, so this doesn't mean that they will necessarily get better, these two women? Absolutely. So it's not a cure. Yeah. That's it's a very important point, that these antibodies do not cure these particular women. Instead, what they do is guide us for future vaccine for people who are not yet infected. Okay. It doesn't mean that their health improves by 88%, for example. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, so just talk to what is an antibody? So an antibody is a little protein, they're a little like soldiers that your body makes. And we make antibodies all the time. So every time we encounter a particular virus or bacterium, our body will respond to kill it. So anything that's foreign, that's invading the body, the body responds with this, this response. And this response in these little proteins, they're going to attach to the virus, whatever the virus is, and it will then go and kill those viruses. So we are, as our bodies are, we make antibodies all the time. The problem in HIV is that the antibodies that we've generally been making against HIV, they don't actually kill HIV because HIV is able to genetically change. The virus changes over time to escape these antibodies. So that has been the challenge yeah. with antibodies against HIV. So this is a step forward towards finding what? Not a cure, but what? 
Absolutely. So, the, so the, these antibodies did not cure these women. They still have HIV infection. Unfortunately, one of those women developed uh, tuberculosis and eventually developed drug-resistant tuberculosis and XDR, extremely drug-resistant tuberculosis, and demised. Unfortunately, she was not able to benefit from these antibodies. But what she's left us, she's left us with a lasting legacy that we will be able to use now to protect future generations, we think. So from here you can create what? So what we want to do now is we want to look at how these women were able to make these special antibodies. And can we make a vaccine that can make exactly the similar kind of antibodies in a new people, say in adolescents or young people, so that if they ever encounter HIV, that they will be able to respond and they will be able to kill HIV because they've been vaccinated. All so right. we're trying to learn from them to protect people in future. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor Salim Abdul Karim, Director of the Center for the Study for the AIDS Program uh, of Research in South Africa, joining us from our studios in Cape Town. Thank you very much for your time. This